Okay, here's another update. And here we got one of the classics release with the vertical sticker labels. The Jungle Book. This movie was released May 3rd, 1991. And then, Jungle Book went back into vaults in time in spring 1992. Shere Khan is the villain. Baloo is the main character. And Mal Balki. Members, I haven't been offering my opinion. Because he got this sticker label. Says, I don't know if this one is hard to find or not. I looked up on eBay and I said, Oh my god, there's six of the Jungle Book with the vertical label. I wouldn't want to get it. IMAX Station 1980 got this variation. He got two copies. I had two copies. Print date is May 29th, 1991. So, yeah, this is a later pressing. Yep. My copy with the ink label was printed May, no, March 6th, 1991. This one is May 29th. Remember watching these previews when I was a kid? Saw 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo after the rescuers down under VHS. You know, according to the 1991 VHS to the Jungle Book, this actually has previews on it. It just opens with the red FBI screens. I heard there were some copies of the Jungle Book that have the green FBI screens. Then the same previews as my two copies of the Jungle Book. Switched from bad condition to good condition copies. And I think I haven't been all freaking my opinion that I got this at school replacing with the old tape. And I switched it out when I was a teenager. Then uh, at Grandma's house, I watched the previews for the Rescue Sounder, and it was so good. It was so good. So that was the classics release of the Jungle Book. Here we got one of the copies with no previews on it at all, with the just the green FBI screens and 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo, and the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo. This is Rescuers Down Under. This is this movie was released September 20th, 1991. Yep, and. Funny thing about this one that they waited. The Rescuers was promoted on video for 1992, a year after the sequel. But tape and clamp show are the same as my three other copies, but it actually has no previews on it at all. And it has the green FBI screen, the classic logo. I heard there were some copies of Rescuers Down Under. They also have the prototype 1988 classic logo. Somebody's going to have to check it again. Alright, the print date on here is April 2nd, 1993. I got this one this year, actually. Okay, these are the ones.
that opened with the 1989 Classics logo and the Buena Vista logo. This is the 1989 VHS of Dumbo. And unfortunately, this cover cover looks darker, but this one's a little normal. But this one's way darker than usual. See the classic diamond. It's pretty much the same as my little verbatim. The cover's dark, just like my rarest pressing of the Little Mermaid, which was a rare instant. But this copy, it's not a rare instant. This copy opens with the 1989 Classics logo and the Buena Vista logo instead of the 1984 Classics logo. I've seen some copies where some where the 1988 you know tape with the older text would be in the case, but not this one. I got this one actually this time is the vertical sticker label this time uh, this way it came this way it came no print date it's the vertical sticker label which is sideways which is left. And it's not in color, it's just black and white. So I can call this the 1989 VHS tape of Dumbo. Alright. That was rare, extremely rare. This is the one that comes with that's the VHS that came with this copy which was the 1989 VHS but with the 1989 classic logo but this tape usually opens you know some 1989 VHS releases of Dumbo open with the 1984 classic logo but my copy opens with the 1989 classic logo and the Buena Vista logo instead just like VHS Gamer 99 has. But this one, this is the 1991 VHS. Different print date. Same cover as this one, but much lighter. And this is updated with the 1989 Classics logo. And the Buena Vista logo. You know, tapes, 1989 VHS tapes releases usually open with the 1984 Classics logo. Tapes like Sword of Stone, Alice in Wonderland, and Dumbo. This one's a later printing. But this is January 21st, 1994. So, yeah. Check here. That's a promo stuff right here. These are all the ones that include the inserts. They all include the titles from the Walt for the Black from the Walt Disney Classics series, Black Diamond series, and Walt Disney Home Video series. That ones that featured the Sorcerer Mickey Classics logo and Sorcerer Mickey Walt Disney Home Video logo. And they went up to for almost $25. Like, it's like $24.99. Bambi was released for $26.99 and $22.99. Oh, look at all of these. And these are the ones that have the Touchstone home video releases that come in a cardboard slipcover case. Also, the Born Investor home video logo. Ones that feature. Yep, 
Adventures of Rocky and Boingo. Eight. All right. Now, let me go over this. This one is the 1989 VHS. This one is the 1991 VHS. Finally decided to have this one in my collection. I call this the 1989 VHS of Dumbo with the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo and the 1991 VHS with the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo. Both have the Buena Vista logo. You know, you know how 1989 tapes of Dumbo featured in the 1984 Classics logo. Usually, my copy doesn't. Neither does VHS Gamer 99s. You know, I was, I was impressed with him. You know, he got this copy with the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo, the Born of Us logo. My copy, my 1989 VHS without a print date. My 1989 VHS doesn't have a print date. It's definitely legitimate. Yep. So that's it. Dumbo.